What up, guys? Coming at you guys with another video here to talk about Gomez versus Coda. Great fight. Um, 154. It's a pretty stacked division. Now, Coda, um, he went the distance with uh, Gomez. Now, unanimous decision for Gomez. Um, pretty much, I think all, all of them had him 100 to 90, which was kind of crazy. Um, I'm not saying that Coda won the fight, but definitely, in my opinion, Coda definitely won some rounds, but at the end of the day, you know, the right person did win. Gomez, if I'm being honest with you guys, I was like, you know, shit, Coda's been in wars, man. He's been in there with Charlo, Fandora, and uh, I was like, yo, Gomez, even though this is his sixth fight, you know, they're pretty much uh, fast-tracking him. You know, he is 24 years old. Um, I was thinking, yo, he's looking too good. He's looking too strong. He's on... KO streak, he's probably going to get stoppage, and I forgot what round he caught Coda with uh, a nice, I believe it was a left hand, and that definitely stunned him, buckled him, the ropes held him up, pretty much could have counted as a knockdown, and I was like, oh shit, you know, he's about to get Coda out of there, but nah, Coda, you know, he's a veteran, he survived, he gave uh, Gomez the rounds, which pretty much uh, a learning experience for Gomez. Definitely moving forward. Coda, you know, he's still... They're still going to bring him in there for uh, future guys. You know, shit. Coda, you know, he's been fighting... Like I said, he's been fighting all these 154-pounders. So, I don't see him stopping that anytime soon. As far as Gomez, 6-0 uh, and 0 now. Um, competition is, is pretty steep. But, you know, he has a nice Cuban uh, style. And definitely, he, he probably will be adjusting to, oh, you, shit, you know what, if I, I just thought about this, I would like to see him, even though I think he moved up, Adamas versus Gomez, that would be a good fight, but I think uh, Adamas moved up to 60, if I'm not mistaken, but shit, that would have been a good fight.